You may have seen some of my videos about the reconstruction of the pliosaur from the Manitoba Museum. Now we finished the flippers and the spine and all that quite a while ago, and now I'm ready to dive into the skull, so that then the skeleton will be ready to put together. The original specimen had been crushed flat during the fossilization process, but for the final display, the skull needs to be reinflated to its full three-dimensional proportions. I started with cast copies of the flat skull. I carefully examined it and cut out individual bones or assemblies I felt I could work with. With a little heat, the plastic can be bent into shape and the bones glued together in their appropriate configuration. Throughout the process, I referenced scholarly journals, consulted with pliosaur experts, and looked at our copy of the Sternberg Megacephalosaurus, a closely related animal. Sometimes the best resource is another skull right in front of you. Once the skull was together, I set the cast teeth in the jaw. With a little detail work, this pliosaur was ready to bite down on something for the first time in 90 million years. Once the reconstruction phase is done, I'm left with what's called a master. This is the piece that gets molded so that we can make lots of copies for production. I turned it over to our master molder, Todd, to work his magic. We strapped the mold to the spin caster and poured plastic resin inside to make a hollow, lightweight cast. This process turns out an exact duplicate of the master. Bo, our shop manager, assembled the very first copy of the skeleton. Once all the bones were together and painted, we took it out to see how it would look in the museum. Come check out skeletons like this at the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado, and subscribe to the channel and share the video.